up you guys it's your girl Arisman. welcome back to my channel on my channel we talk about all things faith and a little bit of lifestyle so if you're looking for relatable faith content i'm your girl i'm your girl to click subscribe i love to have you we love to have you in this family in today's video i am going to teach you how to read the bible for beginners so if you clicked on this you can tell by the title this is how to read the Bible for beginners. I have people all the time talk about, all right, I just don't understand it. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's complicated. I, it, doesn't, it doesn't add up. I don't know where to start. I'm like, I got you. I got you. It's a lot to grasp. It's sad. It's scary. It's overwhelming. I've even had people tell me that it's irrelevant. But we're here to talk about all those things today, kind of, sort of, but debunk all of that because Everyone should be reading the Bible. It's not irrelevant. It's very much relevant. It's gonna help you. It's a blueprint for life. The Bible is so juicy. It literally has killing and murder and sex and drugs and alcohol, infidelity and polygamy and beautiful miraculous stories of healing and marriage and births and floods and walls falling. Anyway, so that is not, this is where this video going. But let's talk about, let's just go ahead and dive right in on how to read the Bible for beginners, all right? This is the best part. So before you get to reading, before you bust open your Bible, you gotta know where to start, okay? So where you start is what you're reading on. Like, are we talking about a physical Bible? Are we reading the Bible on our phone? Are we reading the Bible off of Google? Like, where are you gonna tap into? If you don't have a physical Bible and you got a smartphone, you are in luck. You have the Bible app. You have Blue Letter Bible. You have Bible Gateway. There's so many ways you can access the Bible on your phone. And those same things I just shared with you, you can access online. Bible Gateway is online. Bible, um, Bible Hub is online. Blue Letter Bible, online. You can access the Bible anywhere. So if, even if you don't have a smartphone and you can access the internet, you can tap into a Bible. So if you got a phone, download the Bible app. You should already have the app because it's so clutch. It has so many resources that you can tap into and even tools to help you grow in your spiritual walk. You want the Bible app. But also if you don't have a physical Bible, you can access it on the internet. But if you have the ability to get a physical Bible, 10 out of 10, thousand out of ten recommend this one and we'll talk about it in a second i'll just have it linked also in the description down below but love this bible so much i take it with me everywhere oh personally i just wanted to add this tip when i first started out reading my bible i had a physical bible but i didn't open it i wanted to read on the bible app first i like the ease of it i like the fact i could highlight stuff right there in the app i can compare the versions if you want a video on how to really use the bible app let me know i will give you a whole tour of how to make the bible app the most beneficial for you and your walk Whatever you choose, that is where you start, all right? So you chose your device? All right, let's go on to the next step. So first of all, where do I start? Personally, I start with the gospel. And honestly, it really depends on the day. I kind of start in different places. But I'll say first, my suggestion, my suggestion to anybody reading the Bible for the first time is to start with the gospel. So you're probably like, all right, What's the gospel? So the gospel is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It's found in the New Testament. It's essentially the birth and the journey, the life of Jesus. And Jesus is God in the flesh. Jesus is God here on earth. God among us, right? Jesus is our blueprint for how to live life, how to do miracles, how to love on people, how we should invite people into our homes and dine with them, how we should be for the outsider, how we should do all these things. Like that is Jesus and we learn how to do his ministry, how to do his life, how to impact people by reading Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We re we're reminded of what's important by reading those books of the Bible in particular. So. First and foremost, I would say start there. Especially if you just wanna learn a little bit about who Jesus is. You're like, who is this guy my whole faith is based on? Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. People always ask me, is like, what version should I read? And it really depends on your preference. A Bible scholar out here or somebody who's just trying to, a Christian corrector, that's what I call them. Anyone who's out here trying to correct you, they're going to be like, read King James Version, read a Hebrew Bible because it's closer to the original, right? You want 
to not have, you don't want to read something that's as manipulated, but don't necessarily look at it like that. Like, yes, you can read King James. Yes, you can read a Hebrew Bible, but I don't suggest that for beginners. I suggest that for someone that's more mature in their faith or wanting to really like dig deep and get into just all the things. Right? If you want to jump in head first. However, it can be a little overwhelming, it can be a little complicated, and kind of scary, just like all the hesitations I share with you at the beginning of this video. So, my suggestion is, if you want to start, start with something that's more easy for you to read, more easy to understand and to grasp, because we're just trying to get the basics, right? We can get into exegeting the text later on. Right now, you're probably like, what is exegeting? Look it up, right? We're not doing that right now. We are just trying to grab a hold of what the Bible is, what scripture is saying, and making it practical to our own life, right? So start with the New International Version, very basic easy to read version so or english standard version you can read the message version the passion translation which there are books of the bible that are in passion translation you're able to read that is still really great so i encourage you go on bible gateway go on your bible app look at all the different translations and read through and pick all oh, like okay Honestly, this is the easiest way you could do it. And again, if you want a tutorial on how to do this in the Bible app, let your girl know in the comments down below. Also, if you like anything that I'm sharing right now, click the subscribe because baby, we want you in the family, okay? Okay. Um, but yeah, you can go in the Bible app and you can select a verse. Just pick one verse, any verse you want, Romans 8:28. boom, click on it and you can hit compare and you can add in all the versions and you can look literally after you click compare you can see all the versions like listed in your forefront of your mind in your in your face and you can literally look and read all of them i said literally 50 times but read all the different versions and compare them right then and there on the same screen so clutch so chef's kiss because it's like what better way to compare or study or just be able to decide what version i want to read so once you determine what you're reading on once you determine the version you want to read then you want to determine how can I read to understand? It's time to talk a little bit about studying, okay? So you can pick out your verse. Once you have your verse, you can write that verse a few times, right? Write the verse, write the verse, write the verse, recite the verse. Recite it, recite it, recite it. We want that thing in, in our shando, okay? We want that in our deepest knowing, okay? That is one thing you could do. After you write the verse several times, after you recite it out loud, now think, ask yourself, does it raise any emotions in me? Does anything in my mind, does anything particularly stick out in my mind? What is it about this verse or this text that is resonating with me? And then journal about it. Journal about the emotion, journal about the confusion, journal about the question, journal about the tension, journal about the praise, journal about the excitement, journal about it. And then go back and read that verse again and recite it again. And like that is how you'll be able to resonate or keep your, get your repertoire, your repertoire, your tool belt ready for every attack of the enemy because baby that's what it he's god said be alert and of sober mind okay he said every single day we gotta put on our full armor okay we gotta put a helmet of salvation our breastplate righteousness shield of faith battle truth shoes of gospel of peace and the sword of the spirit okay the sword of the spirit at all times also another practical way that you can help scripture scripture resonate with you or study scripture is you can make scripture cards uh, so I know it's like a basic study tip because who didn't have flashcards or note cards in school? Maybe you didn't if you have phot photographic memory, but your girl don't got photographic memory. So I ain't had a flashcards and my flashcards really got the job done. My scripture cards get the job done. So highly recommend you getting, if you don't have any note cards, it's fine. You can literally make it on sheets of paper, printer paper, lined paper, wrapping paper. tissue paper, whatever on your phone. I mean, whatever works for you, you can literally go on quizlet.com and you can make you some digital note cards, okay? I don't want any excuses, no excuses, no excuses in 2023. There are so many different ways that you could do this, so don't give them to me. I'm not hearing them, I'm not hearing them. Also, lastly, another practical way that you can study the Bible is, or read the Bible for beginners and understand it is by using the soap method. So not, you know, soap that you clean your body with, but essentially cleaning your soul with it, okay? So S 
S-O-A-P, SOAP. So the SOAP method, S-O-A-P, is your scripture, whatever your observation is, the application, so how can I apply this to my life, and then you close out with the prayer. It's very easy, very easy tool that all beginners, even seasoned readers, seasoned Bible readers, do this method because it just gets the job done. And we are here about getting the job done. We're just trying to get the job done. Not like God is a box to check, but we're trying to check our soul, okay? So we need to get that job done. And the soap method is for sure cleaning up all that mess. So remember, and next time you open your Bible and you bust it open, you whether that's on a digital device, on a physical, your physical Bible, whatever it may be, however you tap in, remember, once you do that and you find the version that's comfortable to you, versions that speak to you, then you wanna write it down, you wanna recite it, you wanna journal it, you wanna make cards so you can memorize it, so that you can be ready for every attack of the enemy, and you boo 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 out here shooting shots, period. On top of the fact of doing the soap method, whether that's weekly, daily, monthly, whatever looks like a first step for you, that you are taking that scripture that speaks to whatever it is that you're wrestling with, whatever it is that you're looking to gain more insight or clarity on, or learn about from God, or what it looks like to have God be in the middle of that, be in the midst of whatever that area is in your life, right? You find that scripture, you observe it, you write down how can you apply this to your life, you actually apply it, and then you close out with a prayer, baby. And then you go about your day, walking around here more healed, more full of love, more ready to receive abundant peace, finances, clarity, relationships, just all the things because God says on earth as it is in heaven, it is yours. That means I don't have it just stored up for later beyond this life. I got it stored up right here and now. And my God said, the wealth of the wicked, stored up for the righteous. That is your word for today, people. I hope this video blessed you on how you can read the Bible as a beginner. I hope it didn't make it scary or confusing or overwhelming but practical and understandable and a little entertaining and maybe even some excite some excitement i incited in you i don't know but if this you found this video any helpful be sure to share it with a friend comment below your favorite tip or um your favorite gem that i shared on today and let me know any questions that you have my email is down below too you can shoot me an email i'd love to hear from you don't forget to subscribe i will see you next time right here on this channel and don't forget how loved you are see you next time bye